About a decade before Demi Moore proved pottery making could be hot and ghost, and long before she would make headlines with two high-profile marriages and splits, she was an 18-year-old aspiring actor saying I do to rocker Freddie Moore. But their relationship was doomed from the start. Here's why they ultimately split. Demi and Freddie tied the knot in 1981 and divorced four years later, but their relationship was tainted long before they walked down the aisle. As Moore recalled in her 2019 memoir, Inside Out, she had been unfaithful to Freddie just hours before saying I do. I guess the fundamental question that came forward for me was, how did I get here? She wrote, the night before we got married, I was calling a guy I'd met on a movie set. I snuck out of my own bachelorette party and went to his apartment. I couldn't get out of the marriage, but I could sabotage it. While Demi never named anyone in her indiscretions, Fight Club actor Paul Karafotis soon claimed he was the man in question. The pair played a couple in 1981's Choices and had a months-long affair, according to the actor. No, you're a hard one to figure out. Paul explained how they got together, telling Daily Mail TV, We laughed, had a good time, and played around on the set, and this developed into a relationship over a little bit of time. And then I guess we had an affair. Recalling the night of Demi's bachelorette party, Karafotis told the outlet he initially brushed Demi off, but then gave in to her persistence. He recalled, I finally said, look, uh, if you want to come over, I'll open the kitchen window. You can climb the fire escape. I'm four flights up. The next thing I knew, she was standing there with a bottle of Dom Perignon, standing over my bed saying, let's do this, let's party. I was shocked. She was wild. The next morning, Karafoda said he reminded Demi that it was her wedding day and she was gone. When Demi first met Freddie, she was just 16 to his 28, and as she wrote in her memoir, her lack of life experience led her to recklessly engage in an affair with Freddie. According to the Daily Mail, the musician was married at the time, but as Demi wrote, I was a self-absorbed teenager who hadn't been raised with a lot of respect for the institution of marriage, and I jumped into life with Freddie without much concern for his wife. I really lost sight of everything that was right in front of me. When they tied the knot, Demi was 18 and Freddie was 30. And the 12-year difference didn't work in their favor, with the actor later calling her 15-year age gap with third husband Ashton Kutcher a, quote, do-over. She wrote, It was like I could just go back in time and experience what it was like to be young with him, much more so than I'd ever been able to experience it when I was actually in my 20s. One of the many hurdles Demi and Freddie's union faced was the actor's substance abuse. As she revealed in her book, she began smoking, drinking, and partying in middle school before dropping out at 16 and moving in with Freddie. She soon landed a role on General Hospital and immediately stopped the boozing. As she recalled, "...alcohol was moving me back to where I came from instead of forward into the future I envisioned for myself." I think something had to give. When you come up to those, those places, you either go in or you go out. But Demi didn't stop using cocaine, and it quickly became an addiction. As the star wrote in her book, cocaine was a constant throughout her first marriage, and when that broke apart, she also started drinking again. Things got so bad that if she hadn't been cast in 1985's St. Elmo's Fire around the time of her divorce, she says she might not have survived. As Demi revealed, production gave her an ultimatum, go to rehab or lose the role. She chose the first, writing, I had something much bigger than me to fight for, and so I did. I wanted to be present, not doled by alcohol or sped up by cocaine, and I dedicated myself fully to the process." Do you still like me? Yeah. Good. Demi certainly hasn't been the luckiest in love. Following her split from Freddie in 85, she married Bruce Willis in 87 after dating for just four months. While their marriage lasted over a decade, the pair went their separate ways in 2000, with Demi later calling the diehard actor, quote, controlling. Three years after that, she began dating Ashton Kutcher. The two were married in 2005, but finalized their divorce in 2013 after Kutcher was caught stepping out with two girls in a hot tub. If I'd known that he was happily married, none of this would have ever happened. But Moore puts much of the blame on herself. Looking back on her failed relationships with The Jess Cagle Show in 2020, she said a reason for her splits has been her tendency to try to be someone she was not. Yeah, I had uh, like changed myself so many times over and over to fit what I thought somebody else wanted. Moore went on to note that many people try to live up to others' desires, adding, "...working through a relationship is really commendable in our disposable times. You know, to go through the journey of really honoring the love that brought you together in the first place and to really give it everything you've got." The journey is really about self-acceptance and forgiveness, 
self-forgiveness, and ultimately self-love. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.